Now in this episode, I'm going to show you why silver could yield some crazy returns in the next few years. This is going to be a very important episode. Make sure to listen carefully. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, all asset classes go through market cycles. When you have a bull market, you will go through the typical phases of the bull market. And these phases are based off sentiment, right? So that's important to understand before we get into this, that market psychology has a massive impact on price across all asset classes. And at GameOfTrades.net, we want to take advantage of that as much as possible in our investing and our trading. And that's what we teach to our members. So we start off with the stealth phase. This is where the smart money starts to come into that asset class. And the biggest characteristic is that you finally start to have an uptrend, right? Before that, it's a downtrend or a sideways consolidation. And then you start to make higher highs. And that's something different. That's the first part of the cycle. Then you have the awareness phase. Institutional investors come in and you start to see some bigger moves. It gets a little bit overbought and you have the first sell off, which we call the bear trap. And that's where sentiment goes from being very bullish after that big first run and starts to get bearish right here. And then you have that last phase, that mania phase where you start to have the delusion, the greed. So now let's take a look at silver and where it is currently in its market cycle. So this is a weekly chart of silver and there's multiple ways of looking at this chart but we're going to take it step by step through the lens that we see the precious metal cycle go through so we have the stealth phase right here where you've got the price making higher highs for the first time in quite a while right before that we had a multi-decade bear market on silver where we had lower low and lower highs and all of a sudden in 2001 you've got a higher low and then a higher high and then another higher high. And then in 2011, you start to get the silver market really get overheated. And that's the awareness fate. And right at that moment is the drop, the bear trap of the cycle where sentiment goes from hyper bullish to hyper bearish. And I want to quickly show you the sentiment on gold here just to show you what I'm talking about. You can see the sentiment was bullish throughout this entire period. And then you had that sell off, right? The bear trap throughout this period where you had the sentiment drop down here and start to get bearish. Now we're picking it back up and that's called the resumption. And you know what the next phase is? It's the mania phase. I'm going to explain to you guys why the stars are aligned for that mania phase to occur and silver to head into price discovery in 2022. That is something that we expect to happen and I'm going to take it step by step. First of all, we're going to take a look at the previous silver bull market and see if we have any similarities. Then we're going to talk about inflation and monetary policy to see if that's aligned with higher silver prices. Then we're going to take a look at the technical picture and then the gold silver ratio. And those are the four points that suggest that silver is going to be heading higher over the next couple of years. Now, if you're so far enjoying this video, make sure to give us a like. It helps our videos out massively. We're really looking to diversify diversify the content on this channel. So if you're enjoying this video and you want to see more videos like this, make sure to let us know. That is really appreciated. So let's start off with point number one and go back to the 1970s on this chart of silver. And again, let's see if we can spot the different phases of the market cycle. We have the stealth phase right here where the market switches from a bearish trend to making higher highs and higher lows. Then when sentiment gets overheated, you have a bear trap, a correction, and that's the first big sell off. And once price starts to pick back up again, that's when you have the parabolic moves on silver. And so back in 1978, 79, you really had some crazy, crazy moves on silver. This is just insane price movements just in six months here from June 1979 to January 1980, you had a 485% move in six months. That is absolutely massive returns. Now, obviously, you need to be able to time that. But if you're able to book profits along the way on that kind of move, your return on investment can be absolutely massive. Now let's talk about inflation and monetary policy. And I want to specifically talk about the real interest rate. And this is what the entire precious metals market is all about. 
This is what determines how gold and silver behave. So let's zoom out on this chart right here. And you can see in red, we have the inflation rate. And in black, we have the nominal interest rate. And so this is actually the short term interest rate. This is the one year treasury bond. And these are the bonds that the Fed can actually control. They don't control the longer term bonds. They control the short end of the curve. And so this is why that black line here since 2008 is unusually flat right here. And same thing since June 2020 after the repo crisis it's unusually flat because of Federal Reserve bond yield manipulation. So why am I talking about this? Because when inflation, that red line is higher than the black line, that's when real interest rates are negative. If you have interest rates higher than inflation, that's when real rates are high. So those are very simple concepts to understand. And I'm going to give you guys one more piece of information. When real rates are negative, that's when precious metals do extremely well. And you can see that on this chart here, this entire period, 1970 to 1980, that's the first big bull market in precious metals. And so as long as you have real interest rates lower than zero, you're going to see precious metals rise because investors see high inflation, but they can't protect themselves through bonds. So what's the best way to protect yourself against inflation? You go to precious metals, you go to gold, you go to silver. So what's happening right now with the real rates, we're going into negative territory. We're seeing inflation start to pick up right here and we still have interest rates at zero. Now, is that something that's going to continue or is it going to change? And the answer to that is that we're going to see real rates go even lower. And the reason for that is because the Fed is dovish and they're going to continue staying dovish. They've recently reassured the market that the Federal Reserve will hold the dovish line at zero rates through till 2023. And meanwhile, we're starting to see inflation pick up. We're starting to see parabolic moves in commodities like copper, coffee prices are starting to rise, corn prices recently made a massive move up. If that's not called inflation, then I don't know what is. And we've recently had a $1.9 trillion stimulus package that's been signed and likely many more to come that is going to create more inflation. So what does that all mean? It means inflation is going to head higher. The Federal Reserve is not going to care. They're going to keep interest rates at zero. And so where's that blue line going to go? It's going to go lower and lower and lower. And where are precious metals going to go? They're going to go higher and higher and higher. Now let's quickly take a look at the technical structure of silver. Silver right now is looking extremely bullish. We are making a series of higher lows right there. And that is a sign of accumulation. It means the buyers are willing to pay higher and higher prices as time goes on for silver. And so that's a bullish structure. We have a very powerful move here. Sentiment got overheated. The move got overextended. And now we have a sideways period of consolidation with a healthy price pattern. That is all good news. That is all bullish for silver. Now, if we zoom out to the weekly chart and take a look at what's happening on the MACD here, again, we have a very strong move here. And now we're working off those overbought conditions coming back down to that zero line where we'll likely find support and resume the leg up. So we could still have some more consolidation over the next few weeks before eventually resuming higher on silver. And why am I using this as an example? We can take a look at the previous big run on silver during the first part of the bull market. We had very similar price action, right? We have a big move on silver right here, and then you have a sideways period of consolidation where you've got the MACD come back to the zero line before resuming its uptrend and eventually making another big move up. Big move up on the MACD comes back down to the zero line before making that next big move up. Now here we had the financial crisis, so we did have a bigger drop, but we do expect this type of price action right now if everything goes well and we don't have an insolvency crisis throughout 2021. We do expect this type of price action to happen in 2020. Now I want to quickly take a look at the gold silver ratio for that last point of the bullish case on why silver is going to do so well over the next few years. And that is silver tends to outperform in the final phases of bull markets. And I'm going to show you what I mean here in 2011 on that final move up on silver. I'm going to put up this chart of silver on here. You had 
two big spikes of silver. And towards the end of big runs in precious metals, you start to see silver outperform massively. And so here you have that big spike of silver right here. The gold silver ratio came down all the way down here. And in 2011, you had the gold silver ratio come down all the way right here. So if we take a look at that, we can expect silver to at least come back to this level and likely overshoot that on that big speculative phase of the bull market. So could we see a move down to that 30 level and see a 100% outperformance of silver to gold? Absolutely. That is within the realm of possibility. Now, if you want to find out more about how we take a look at gold, silver, how we take a look at precious metals. We've got a lot of interesting articles on gameoftreats.net. On our fundamental bullish case for gold, we have specific price targets and certain timelines. And of course, we make updates on when we're entering dollar cost averaging down our positioning and when we'll be exiting towards the end of the bull market. Now, that's about all I wanted to cover in this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In the meantime, good luck on your trading and see you next time. So, you want to invest in the cryptocurrency market, but you don't know where to start? Welcome to the co-vesting module on Prime XBT. The co-vesting module helps investors and talented cryptocurrency traders find each other. With an easy-to-use interface, you can compare and replicate successful strategies with a proven track record. You can follow multiple trading strategies to diversify your risk. Co-vesting module on Prime XBT. They trade, you profit.